Welcome back. In this episode of Code Cloud Engineer, we're deploying an app on Docker containers. Let's jump in. The Nautilus application development team recently finished development of one of the apps that they want to deploy on a containerized platform. The Nautilus application development and DevOps teams met to discuss some of the basic prerequisites and requirements to complete the deployment. The team wants to test the deployment on one of the app servers before going live and set up a complete containerized stack using a Docker Compose file. Below are the details of the task. On App Server 3 in the Stratus Data Center, create a Docker Compose file at opt devops forward slash docker compose dot yaml, and that should be named exactly. And then second, the Compose should deploy two services, a web service and a database service, and each service should deploy a container as per the details below. First, let's SSH into App Server 3. Now that we're in App Server 3, we're going to want to change our directory to the opt slash devops directory so we could cd path. And now we could sudo touch docker compose.yaml. Now to enter and write to that file, type in sudo vi docker compose.yaml and add the following code. The version is arbitrary, but for the sake of the example, I'm going to put 3.8 for the service. First, the web service. The container name must be PHP host. The image, PHP colon Apache. Map the ports 5000 to port 80. For the PHP host containers, var www.html should be mapped to var www.html. For our database service, the container name must be MySQL underscore host. MySQL underscore host. The image should be MariaDB with the latest tag. The ports 3306 should be mapped to 3306. And then we should map the MySQL host var lib MySQL to the var lib MySQL. It's mentioned here. And so for some environment variables, the MySQL database equals the database host. And then we should enter a username and a password as specified here. After we make those changes, type in colon wq exclamation. And we could run this file with sudo docker compose up dash d. Now we could curl our application by typing sudo curl http colon forward slash forward slash localhost colon 5000. And as you can see, our web page comes back with the title, Welcome to Xfusion Corp Industries. And then now that we've checked that we're up and running, let's go and check our work. Congratulations, you just deployed an app in Docker by writing a YAML file. Thanks for watching. Sign up at engineer.covlab.com.